What if we had a baby? I look at her surprised. Do you want to have a baby? I want to have a baby with you if you want to. Do you want to? I want to. What would we call it? I don't know. We will need to think about it. We can call it baby for now. Baby is good. What would we do with it? We would love it and feed it and play with it and be a family together. I kiss her. Maybe we should. I go to work. In the evening, we're watching TV, sitting on the sofa, our bodies lightly touching. A fish with glowing filaments is drifting through deep sea water, majestic and monstrous. The camera closes up to what appears to be a miniature fish attached to the big fish body. The voiceover explains that this is the first ever documentation of the mating process of the anglerfish, where the atrophied male permanently attaches to the female body and injects it with sperm throughout her lifetime. I wash the dishes. We change for bed. How would it happen? The baby, I mean. Mmm... We will be walking on the cliff. The sea will be stormy and dramatic. We will stop for a moment to take it in. You will make a remark about the sublime. You will hold my hand to share the beauty. We will kiss. You're so corny, I laugh. We will kiss, and while we're kissing, a wave will splash us. I thought we were on the cliff. It's a big wave. Yeah, a very big wave. Can you let me finish, please? Sorry, go on. The following day, I'll wake up feeling peculiar. I'll think I'm sick at first, and I'll throw up. I'll get worried. You will comfort me. You will hold me, and you will notice a small bump on my arm. So we are going to reproduce anglerfish style. You will notice a, a small bump on my arm, and we will start to fuck. You will put your finger inside me and feel something. When you touch it, it will suck on your finger. You will feel intense pain and love at the same time. I will come. When you take your hand out, it will be bleeding, just to drop a tiny prick of blood. I stop laughing because I want to believe her. Do you want to carry it until term, or should I take it in halfway through? We'll, doing, we'll do it together. Our genitals we have transformed during the process. They will be able to attach to each other like suction cups, and the baby can travel from my body to yours and back again. We fall asleep. It's the weekend. I wake up early. The sky is grey with heavy clouds and dramatic lighting. I cycle to the bakery. We eat fresh bread with butter and raspberry jam. Let's go to the seaside for a walk, I say. She smiles. The next day, she feels unwell. I take care of her. We fuck. Later, I notice a small cut on my finger. Is this it? I ask. This is it, she answers. We are pushing a trolley full of groceries in the supermarket. Who's carrying it now? You are. How big is it? The size of the kidney bean. Should we see a doctor? No, we will know what to do. We go to work, we go to bed, we hang laundry, we sleep, we fuck, we clean the bathroom, she buys a gift for her mother's birthday, I finish a big project at work, we work, we sleep, we watch TV. I have a presentation tomorrow morning, can you take it tonight? Yes, she says, the baby travels between our bodies. I go to work, we watch a movie, the mother is saying to her daughter, you can talk to me whenever you need, I'm here for you. The daughter huffs, irritated, but later on she will come to the mother and let her know about the boy she likes. She will be comforted by the support of the mother. What kind of family would we be? You would be the working mum, very career orientated, who teaches her kids her children the values of work and self-realization, and I would be the soccer mum who teaches them about cupcakes. You watch too much TV. Do you want to stop working once a baby's born? No, maybe. 
I mean, bringing up a baby is work. What kind of family do you want us to be? I don't know, a loving one where we support each other and the baby. If you want to stop working for a while, maybe we could alternate. The baby will tell us what it needs. We will tell each other what we need. We sleep, I go to work, we have dinner, we fuck, we sleep. She's goes, she goes to work also. I am not with her when she's at work. It's my day off. I'm carrying the baby. I lie on the grass and watch the leaves move crisply against the deep blue sky. I go to the gym. I feel strong. I break my PR in bench press. I buy some groceries and cook us dinner. She comes home from work. We have dinners. She looks at me while I do the washing up. The baby is getting bigger. I think this will be the last time we pass it over. Yes, I say. I think so too. I look at her. I'm happy that we're having a baby. I wake up in the middle of the night, her hands on my waist, her mouth on my ear. It's time, she says. She shows me the way, our cunts attached together as if to pass the baby from body to body. And when, we, when, it, and <laughs> when it goes through, we separate. This is an effort. Our bodies are sucking on one another, but we pull ourselves apart and give way to our baby. We look at it in awe. It screams. We have become mothers. Thank you.